Hey guys, it's Mandy, one of the Artsy Coaches here at Artsy Inc. And I'm getting ready for an event tonight, and so I just wanted to hop on here and share with you another way that you can work your Artsy business. So my event tonight is called Kids in Canvas, and we partner with our local rec center, and we've done this event now, um, at this location, we've been there almost going on eight years now. So the first Wednesday of every month, I know it's technically the second Wednesday, but last week was New Year's. Um, so we postponed it to this week, but almost, you know, first Wednesday of every month going on eight years now, we have been at this same rec center. And what's great about that is, you know, I've got to watch these kids grow up over the years. So some of these kids started painting with me when they were five and six years old. Now they're going into middle school. And so just watching them grow over the years, watching them, you know, explore their creativity, having more confidence and courage in their art. Um, I did have one little girl and, you know, she started painting with me years ago and she would always a few times cry even like she would be so upset she wanted her painting to look just like mine and if it didn't she would be very upset and she would say no no it, yours doesn't mine doesn't look like yours and I would say it's okay it's yours it's supposed to look like yours well you know fast forward to today and now you know she's exploring with her own color she'll add her own personal touches she'll change it to customize it so it's been really fun watching those kiddos just develop that courage and confidence in their art um, from a business perspective though what's awesome is this is a party I've had on my month or on my calendar every month for eight years. So you can plan for it. It's that steady stream of income that we all love in our businesses. So, um, so look for those opportunities to partner with rec centers and offer, you know, some sort of kids program um, because the rec centers are looking for those opportunities to provide programming for their communities. So the event that we're doing tonight, I'll show you what we're painting. This is Sid, Sid the Snowman. And if you saw my, you know, he's got his bucket hat on and his goggles. Where's my camera? Here we go. He's ready to hit the slopes. And if you saw my live, uh, my live video last week, I already painted this last week with another group of kids. So what's awesome is I don't have to repaint my sample. I already have my sample. I've already practiced it. I already know how to instruct it. So I love when we can recycle artwork. It just makes it easier on our business. So we're going to paint Sid the Snowman, and I will tell you the one thing that we hear about all the time in this business is, I'm not creative. I'm not an artist. I can't do this. And I will tell you, I agree. You don't have to be an artist to do this business. I have zero art background. My degree is in construction, and true story, my I had to take an architectural drawing class in college, and I can't draw. I'm awful at it. So um, I paid a class a classmate a case of beer to draw my final project. So you do not have to be an artist to do this business. Um, what what we can we can teach you how to paint. That's that's no problem. What we can't teach you is how to be nice, how to be funny, how to be kind, how to provide good customer service. Like those are harder things to teach. If you have those characteristics and those qualities. Trust me, we can teach you how to paint. Not a problem at all. Um, and what I love even more is I think I shared last week that we had um, we have templates for a lot of our artwork. So we download the, the template. It's on two pieces of paper, so it'll fit the canvas. And I just cut it in half and tape it together. And then I can trace this onto my canvas. So I have my blank canvas and my graphite paper we shared that tutorial yesterday on how to do your tracing so on my graphite paper here i'm going to place it shiny side down on my canvas so i wrap my canvas here in my graphite paper i'm going to place my template right on top and line it up there and then i'm just going to use my pencil wherever my pencil went and trace it so i use my pencil trace it i don't trace all of the details because i want the kids to still be able to customize it maybe they don't want you know a snowflake on their hat maybe they want a heart maybe they don't want the heart on the on his chest maybe they want to put something else a little boy the other day put an american flag there i thought that was super cute so we want to give them opportunities to customize their artwork still and change their colors but at least this way their painting will look like a snowman when they're done and it just helps their confidence and um makes no more no tears so then with the magic of tv here we go here's my final so you can see i just traced just the outline of my snowman see it's awesome so and as from a guide's perspective i love using the templates because 
A, the kids, it's easier for the kids to paint, uh, but it also really helps dry time because you're not layering paint. Um, it just makes the party go a lot quicker. So, um, so yeah, that's just a little tip for you, how to, how to work your artsy business. Look for those rec center partnerships that you can bring, um, that you can bring art to their community. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and continue to follow us for tips and tricks on how to work your artsy business. I'm going to go finish tracing canvas and get ready for tonight. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.